Hi team, let's talk about a decodable text. And I have a great definition for you that's here, but when we think about a decodable text, we're thinking about a text that is focused on a beginner reader, helping them with the decoding process or matching up letters with sounds to correctly decode and pronounce words. Um, decodable texts are sequenced. So they start with the most basic phonics patterns like CVC words, and they get progressively more complex and the idea is to take that student and continually um, progressively go very systematically from easy ideas, phonics rules, to more progressive, more advanced ones. Um, these are carefully constructed texts. I'll give you an example of them. They're, they're not meant to be complex stories. They're meant to really help a student focus on a very specific phonics pattern or phonics rule. Here's an example. This book here is called Bob Books. These are very common for beginner readers. So I'm gonna put down here kindergarten or five through six. Yeah, this is uh, this is one of the first books they have. And basically it reviews letter sound relationships in the alphabetical principle. So here we have that basic phonics with the alphabetical principle. We're matching up letters with their predictable sounds like the mutt for moon, the ah uh for apple, the ta for table, the s for sun. And we're using that alphabetical principle review to help with the decoding of the most basic words. They're called uh, CVC words. They're words that are phonetically regular and very decodable, very predictable. So words like CVC, like mat or sat. If a child just knows how to decode a couple of these letters, like M-A-T-S, they know how to do that letter sound correspondence. When they read this very basic text, they're going to be able to use that letter sound correspondence in the alphabetical principle, you know, to decode these words. So they're going to be like m at mat, m at sat, sat, mat sat. They just read their first sentence. It's really amazing to see this when you're working with a student for the first time when they start at this point, and then they build out and expand. It's very exciting, and you can see it in their face, right? the excitement of their ability to start to read and actually do letter sound correspondence where they map out letters with their sounds and blend them together to correctly decode and pronounce those words.